What is going on everybody? It's Medicosis Perfectionalis, where medicine makes perfect sense. Welcome back to my 5-minute review playlist. In previous videos, we talked about Barrett esophagus, cerebral palsy, neonatal conjunctivitis, meconium aspiration syndrome. We talked about kidney pathology, like nephritic syndrome, nephrotic syndrome, and the difference between the two. As for today, it's time for oncology and pathology, hereditary and genetics, breast ovarian syndromes. Let's get started. Please refer to my 5-minute review playlist for more doozy videos. And here is a case for you from TrueLearn. A 34-year-old woman comes to the office for follow-up after recently being diagnosed with ovarian cancer. She has a 5-year-old son and is concerned about his risk of developing cancer. The patient's mother was diagnosed with ovarian cancer at age 42 and her sister was diagnosed with endometrial cancer at age 28. Assuming that these conditions are the results of an inherited cancer syndrome, the patient's son is most at risk of developing which of the following types of cancer. Please pause and try to think about it. Let's talk about that. Inherited cancer syndrome, we have ovarian, ovarian, and endometrial. What is that? This is Lynch syndrome, also known as hereditary non-polyposis colorectal cancer. Boom, there you have it. For more meticulous vignettes like these, go to truelearn.com, use discount code medicosis, or click on the link in the description box below this video. What is cancer? Even a pessimistic philosopher like Schopenhauer didn't have an answer. But I'll tell you, cancer is here. It's a neoplasia. New growth. It's not hypertrophy or hyperplasia or metaplasia or dysplasia. It is neoplasia. Hypertrophy is increase in the size of the cell. Hyperplasia increase the number. Metaplasia is that change of tissue from one type to another type in the same category. From epithelium to epithelium or from connective to connective. But not jumping from epithelium to connective or from connective to epithelium. Dysplasia is dysfunctional, disordered growth. Neoplasia, new growth, could be benign, such as an adenoma, or could be malignant, such as an adenocarcinoma. Neoplasia is an abnormal mass. A neoplasia is a mass, a mass, a bulk of tissue, whose growth exceeds, love it, is uncoordinated with that of normal tissue, hate it. And, if that was not bad enough, persists even after the cessation of the stimulus that caused the growth in the first place. Oopsie. Tumors or neoplasia, or any word that ends in oma, except Oklahoma, is divided into benign tumors and malignant tumors. The malignant tumors are cancers. They could be carcinomas if they are made of epithelium, or sarcomas if they are made of connective tissue. If you're a carcinoma, you'll metastasize to the lymph. Yeah, later you can go to the blood, but you prefer to go to the lymph. But if you're a sarcoma, you prefer to go to the blood. More cancer facts. Growth with no control. It's a growth with no limit. There is no evident cause. We only know of risk factors. Please do not confuse correlation with causation. It serves no useful function. It arises from any type of cells. It could be non-functioning, i.e. non-secreting, or functioning, i.e. secreting. What does that mean? It means it's a paraneoplastic syndrome, such as small cell lung cancer secreting, ACTH and ADH. Do not confuse cancer with carcinoid. It's a mess. It seems like cancer, but it's not cancer. Let me ask you a question. If a patient has breast cancer and ovarian cancer, what's the name of the disease? What's the gene mutation? How about breast cancer, brain cancer, adrenal cortex tumors, leukemia, lymphoma, and sarcomas? What's the disease? What's the gene mutation? Can you answer these? Please pause and try to do it yourself. Then I'll show you the answers. Are you ready? Sure. There you go. Breast cancer and ovarian cancer. This is BRCA mutation. What does BRCA stand for? Breast cancer. Really? Yeah. Duh. The gene mutation is BRCA. What if we have breast cancer, brain cancer, adrenal cortex tumors, leukemia, lymphoma, and sarcomas? All kinds of sarcomas. Connective tissue cancers. This is leaf Romani syndrome. One of the most miserable, unfortunate patients that you will ever encounter. 
it is really sad. The gene mutation is the p53. Colorectal cancer, endometrial cancer, ovarian cancer, skin cancer, Lynch syndrome, hereditary non polyposis, colorectal cancer. This is the answer to the vignette or the case that we did today from True Learn. And the mutation is in the DNA mismatch repair genes. How about colorectal breast, gastric, and pancreatic cancers? This is Putz Jaeger's syndrome. What's the gene mutation? STK11. Breast, endometrial, thyroid, and colon polyps. This is Coden syndrome. Endometrial is Coden. And remember that your thyroid gland contains C cells or calcitonin cells. Also, if you are super sophisticated, look at the word endometrial. Here is N, here is D, here is O. And this W looks like two breasts. And the mutation is PTEN. Think of polyps, thyroid, endometrial. On to the quiz time. After all of this, can you answer them by yourself? Pause and review. If you want to see my M mnemonic on cancer basics, check out my video with this title here on YouTube. I have talked about many cancers on this channel, such as these. If you want to learn about vulvar cancer, vaginal cancer, cervical cancer, uterine cancer, ovarian cancer, and breast cancer, download my OBGYN high yields course at medicosisperfectsnellis.com. If you want to learn about skin cancer, colorectal cancer, insulinoma, glucagonoma, and others, download my surgery high yields course. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, hit the bell, and click on the join button. You can support me here or here. Go to my website to download my courses. Go to truelearn.com for thousands of cases. Be safe, stay happy, study hard. This is Medicosis Perfectionalis, where medicine makes perfect sense.